Hello, everybody. So, we have one brave gunner brigadier who has survived. Yes, I'm actually wearing my glasses today. Things have been quite mad here. I've collected as much as I could almost be bothered collecting. And uh, I have realized that, uh, well, I upgraded my graphics. Turns out it was just my own eyesight. And if that killed that gunner brigadier. Nothing to worry about. Go. That's another 200 XP. Thank you. So, it's a very special moment. No, we have not completed the game uh, for perks yet. We need one more level. Now, it is level 286, but that's if you're maximizing the specials by picking up the bobbleheads. Um, so, what you would need to do is you would actually need to hit level 278 and have not picked up a single bobblehead. Then pick up the bobbleheads, and that would actually put all your specials over to a lab. Some maybe a bit higher than that if you use the special book at the end. Uh, that's min max into the to the maximum, like. But I'm just like, blur, HD, blur, HD. Yeah, I'll probably be getting laser eye surgery in the new year. I just didn't realize how bad my eyesight was until uh, I went and got tested, and then they gave me these glasses, and I'm like. <laughs> it's like a 4K monitor, like free upgrade, didn't even have to do anything to the monitor. Okay, so we have concentrated fire, every vat does 10% extra damage on the same body part, then 15%, and then 20% accuracy and 20% more. I, I realize there's a lot of perks that if you picked up, uh, would make your vat so formidable. Uh, rad, rad damage will begin to slowly heal and restore health in the process. Lovely. One more, two more in the four leaf clover. Bats have a very good chance of filling the crypt meter and I have an excellent chance. And then we've got the finale, Kung Fu. You've learned to apply the ancient material arts to gunplay. Do 25% more damage to your vats and target beyond. Not just dawned on me. I had Preston the entire time and I didn't, you know, obviously because he's not my lover or anything. I didn't have a female companion with me so I quite literally have been losing out in a bit of XP. I could have got this maybe a cycle or two ago. Ah well. Anyways, gun foo. And vats do 50% more damage to your third target and beyond. And then the last one, you instantly do a critical hit against your fourth target and beyond. I have one more perk to get. I have 4,327 carry weight. As you can see, I did kind of lift. Wait, what? Another gunner? Yeah, the frame rates here are mighty. Don't know where the other one went. Anyways, um, I'll come back when most of that, the bodies have despawned, so then I can reset, because I'm not resetting with them frames. You know what it's time for. Back to Rowdy. Hello, Rowdy. We could use a few more suits around here. Rowdy. You want to spiff up your power armor? You've come to the... Yeah, yeah. Adam Katz. i minutes to browse. Far out parts thing. Anyway, I'm not wearing the glasses anymore. I don't mind uh, <laughs> being able to see what I can see. Hey, now it shows me all my armor. You can have, like, everything that I was carrying. Not that it matters, but I will finish the game with above a million. It wasn't like, hit a million and then never ever come back to it. So I'm doing some power arm frame shopping today. Lord knows we need a lot of them. Uh, I also need to speak to Virgil, and I want to show you the United We Stand perk that I got from having Preston maxed out Affinity. I know Preston has had, what, like, an episode worth of screen time, and we need to somehow conquer County Crossing. I'm thinking of just firing an experimental Marv at it, which may or may not work. Oh, North Hagen Beach. Um, oh, you have some people now. Woohoo! Poor trash can Carla. Oh, dear. We heading out? So yes, we've got another batch. We'll be doing the the desert armor today, desert camo. Ooh, come on. We're going into the Middle East, boys, because we're going to get the old desert armor. I suppose with the current state of politics in the world, that wasn't the be the best use of language, but you know. Uh, we, we carry on here. Okay, I have a few frames that I could probably throw over. Um, one would complete the entire armor sap of that, so... 
T45, I need a left arm, a left leg, a right arm, one right leg, and a torso and a helmet. Okay, whilst I've got all that, and that's fantastic. Oh, never forget that when you're doing something, next thing your Snapchat blows up. Right, where are we at? All the way down. Desert camouflage. I uh, have been informed that the Brotherhood Outcast actually goes to all paints, so that's brilliant. So we'll be able to do all the outcasts. Um, we'll be doing it. Um, we'll be doing all six, all three Gunner and all three Minutemen. And then uh, a few other things I need to do. So, um, for full disclosure, because, you know, you know me. In order to unlock the horse armor, it doesn't respawn. But it does have a number of skins. And I kind of wanted all the skins. Because I'm a little addicted to doing this at, at this point. So, my plan was to... I, I, I just spawned in the horse armor. So, just disclaimer, I did not farm it. I spawned it in. Right leg, right arm, left leg, torso, next. I can't see it. Because it is a little late. But I can imagine it looks fantastic. Let's see. I bestow upon you desert camo. Ooh, crap. Okay, the desert camo almost got fully applied. It's still pretty nice looking. I just can't believe I didn't do that. Right, uh, you will be Brotherhood Outcast. Well, that was, that was easy. Oh, yeah. Yes, Brotherhood Outcast. Torso, Brotherhood Outcast. And I'm out of adhesive. You think if I really, really wanted to spawn things in, I would spawn an adhesive, but that, to me, that's cheating, but spawning in the horse armor isn't cheating because there's only a finite amount of horse armor. So, here's all the horse armor. That's enough to make every set of the colors uh, to complete them. And then, I did the same thing for the USA, USSA one. Because it, again, I think it has like 10 skins. Um, now, that one was actually farmable. But the problem is, it only sold two of the Captain Cosmos at every vendor. And you need 15 for a single piece. So I did the Maz there, and I would need nearly a thousand and really good RNG to get all of that. Which is probably another like 20 to 30 episodes or even more offline. And that's not even part of the base game, so the justification there wasn't that great. But I did say that my promise was we would do every single piece of power armor on camera, which uh, I have you know, stuck to. it's not as clean as the Institute, but I like it. That's good, I'm glad to hear it. Okay, you will be Brotherhood Outcast. That's what you will be. What do I need for Brotherhood Outcast? In fact, I need to start putting some of my armor back. In fact, I need to start putting away armor. Full stop. Right. Uh, you can just put all this away. Yep. We'll end up scrapping the majority of these. Uh, we can put the Thirst Sappers away. Because um, we only... Oh, well. I need one. Ah, crap. Threw it all the way at the bottom. Yes, this is just things that I have looted over time. Crazy, isn't it? T, 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 T. R, S, T. I know how to do the alphabet to figure out where I am here. Uh, there we go. Just give me them all. Not throw them in there. All my sharp stuff, sprinters. Right, so, uh, I've got the eye cast, right leg, helmet, torso, 145. So I've got the right leg, helmet, and did I say torso? Yeah. 
so. I'm only going to do one power armor at a time. Just to keep things simple. And also, do I have a dresser that is empty? I do. What I feel... Out here sometimes. There is a... Hmm. Oh, big gym. But oh, people just never give up. Did I take anything else? No. Uh, you can have the throat slicer. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I'm trying to make things safer. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? No, 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 no. You all are all good. Cheers for asking. Don't need your help. Okay. So for a T45, I need. I've got the left leg, right arm, right leg, or left arm, right arm. That should be the cast armor done. I know normally we do them all. It's slightly diff. Um, oh no. Damn it. I need adhesive and aluminium. Damn. I've got to actually go do some stuff. Okay, what am I, what am I like for carry weight? Still not great. I'm still carrying way too much. I suppose I could give you all my lucky stuff. Is that... Mm, I want to earn the XP. Huh. Oh my! I'm carrying too much aid. That's the problem. Beer. Tea. Moonshine. moonshine. That fixes everything, including all the stealth boys and the rum. There we go. Woohoo! Okay. Need adhesive. I can make it. That's not a problem. Uh, what do I need? Did I, I remove my chemistry station, didn't I? Um, do you think someday I can join the Brotherhood of Steel too? You lead the way, and I'll follow, sir. I think it would be kind of crazy if you could join it, I Sean, but talk about the you never know. Okay. Uh, Red Rocket. Okay. Uh, Aluminium. There must be someone that deals in it. I'm gonna have to search that up. And I don't remember how to make it off the top of my head, so... That's because it's not made here. It's made here. Okay, vegetable starch. Uh, corn, mutt, fruit, and purified water. Using the corn from here, is it? Maybe it is. Corn. And potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes and tomatoes. Potato. There it is. And I think I said purified water was the other thing. See, they don't, you have to take them out of the workshop because they don't stack. That's another silly thing I never understood. I do get that you would eventually just show up and it would be massive amounts, but, you know, player's going to do what a player's going to do. Okay, a dirty water that looks like purified. Love, love that animation. do 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 I think that's the adhesive problem. Aluminium is slightly more difficult to deal with. But I shouldn't have a problem. Our perfectly preserved pies. Brilliantly displayed. Uh, are you the one... Can I sort by value?
Atomic Command, Grognag, and the Red Menace. And then there's all these. And I'm just wondering, Robco Fun. Robco Fun. Let me make sure I've got all the wee, the wee games. Because I've got the arcade machine. Uh, but there are a few places where we can check up on that. Anyways, I'll go to Virgil. We'll chat to him. We're just going to do a wee bit of running about today. Because we need, obviously, more aluminium. Because, apparently, we're right. Should have enough adhesive to do another good round of, uh... Stoof. Oh, was that Deathclaw still there? Sadly not. I should walk back through the glow and see and kill a load of stuff. So, Arturo's the one that sells 50 aluminium. Right. Let's chat the Virgil here. He shouldn't be hostile. Virgil? The radio signal from the Institute isn't coming in anymore. Something happened, didn't it? Something terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Virgil. The Institute's gone. Destroyed. Oh. Oh, God. The Institute had done some questionable things, but... All those people... I bet they have actually... Think? I think maybe you should go. For good. I think you should leave. Virgil. Just please. Leave me alone. Eh, there's Good nothing really on board that reeks. Nothing really in here I need. Nah, nothing I can even loot. And we got the night vision thing. I need to stop crouching. Don't take the night person perk to you if you don't want night vision randomly when you crouch. Okay, so I just want to double check here. Uh, we have atomic command. Right, we've got that. That's no problem. Uh, we need the other one. Called, called. I'll, see, I'll know it when I see it. Let's see. It's a, a grognite one, and then we have Pitfall. Grognag and the Ruby Ruins. Right, we've got that. Uh, Pitfall and Zeta Invaders. Pitfall. Oh, we do have Pitfall. Okay. Do we have Zeta Invaders? If so, I think that's all of them. Oh, we have Zeta Invaders. Oh, right. Turns out I did get them all. Happy days. Time to go to Arturo. Now that McDonough is gone. Definitely is, Preston. Definitely is. Now, uh, Arturo. Uh, I've got to wait for a bit. Do, 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 do. Got some great stuff. If you're interested. Let's see what you have. Self-defense and... Right, well, the good news is, I can get a power armor frame, and I can get that. Bish, bash, bosh. Uh, you're not taking all my stuff, but... Oh, no, I don't have anything to give you. Crap. That's an enormous amount of something else. No, I don't. I guess... Oh, Nina's torso. I'm trying to pick that up. Four thousand worth. Good business, Arturo. Good business. Um, okay. That just that just keeps happening. I'm not going to complain because it does cut out the animation time, which is awesome. Back to Starlight we go. So we've done chatted to Virgil. Uh, as I said, there's like I think there's like three or four unique pieces of outfits that I need to find. Um, or I say find. I need to find in one of the drawers somewhere or one of the suitcases because I'm sure I've got them and I put them away but I think in terms of going out to the world and getting any or spawning anything that I couldn't get through you know the ending that I chose uh, I think with nearly everything but uh, if this game has one good skill about it is it constantly surprises me with new things it's do you know what I need to change the spawn point to like here I don't know why I didn't do that way sooner Okay, I'll put you up there. I know it's ugly, but I should probably build a staircase at some point. But I can actually sprint. That in itself is, to me, an achievement. But the desert armor will be complete today and we'll do a lot of uh, the CCP one. 
or the USSA, not CCP. This is this isn't communist China. Do the eight casts as well. Okay, aluminium will not last too long, but adhesive should last. I'll, I'll buy a lot of shipments. I've got the money, so be silly not to. How long? I'm gonna walk over, and I didn't check. The, the very important is anything repaired. There we go. See, you gotta keep checking. Cause you never, you never quite know, right? And whoop. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a little confused for a second there. Last time you came back, I... Never mind. I'm just happy you're here. You'll be able to work this one too. Okay, T51. Helmet, left leg, left arm, right arm, right leg, torso. Bish bash bosh. need to remember that uh, the T-51 has some additional ones that I'll have to throw in. I might work on them today too. Uh, those ones include the Abraxo and the Sugar Bombs, which are two you just don't get in any other one. Um, everything else pretty much the same, all the way down to the Desert Camo. Come and see what this Desert Camo looks like on it. Imagine we didn't collect all the adhesive and aluminium, like we wouldn't have got a, a, a third through this if I didn't do all that like complete and utter ridiculous loot goblin the whole way. That conversation. Mm -hmm. Sick. Didn't even get a good look at it, but it is pretty sick looking. Uh, they're probably all going to complain that this is stolen, so I'll just kind of bypass all that. Uh, but I will take this. Yep, I said I bypassed it all. I just I found one that was slightly more convenient. And this one can get the good old desert camel. And another oh I do get XP for it. Why was I not loading the XP last time? At 30 XP, it's not like we're exactly gonna, you know, max out this time. This is gonna be a, a primarily uh, power armor focused episode. I do this every time. I just I need to get into the habit of just checking the repair status. Okay, well that was fine for all these for once. It's kind of kind of rare. Whoop! I have a new new path. <laughs> oh, I'm really liking like these three are cool. I'm actually really digging the swamp one, but I do I love the desert camo. It's just something about it that just makes it so nice looking. Helmet, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, torso. Full repair. Straight down the desert. Full repair. Also desert. Like, see as I approach the end of this, it really... Uh, I just wish there was a teaser or something to be like, there is another Fallout coming. Otherwise, it's looking like I'm going to be playing with my grandchildren at this rate. And I don't even have kids yet, so, you know, work that out in your head. <laughs> it's going to be a while. But uh, thankfully, we've got people like the Fallout London team. Um, there's a few, I've been recommended a few mods, like Sim Settlements and Frost and that. If you know of a mod that you think would fit my particular style or you would want to see... Um, let me know. I suppose only I really know what I love playing, but, uh, oh, that is awesome. So, yes, let me know. 
of any mods you'd like to see. Just so I get a general idea, you know, if loads of people suggest the same one, or there's one that catches my eye and I go have a look at it, may end up doing it, so, uh... Okay, the next one will require me pulling that over. What's the next base one? I think the next base one's gunner armor. Which we already have one. Uh, what one are you? Gunner captain. Right. Um, gunner captain, corporal sergeant. See, I don't know. Actually, will I put you there? I'm thinking... Many variants do you have? Let's see. You have... One... Can't wait to see the art jet one, by the way. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Right, you have... Right, so you have twelve. Twelve variants. Let's see if we can occupy a spot for you. I don't know what's more sore, my back or my feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No way. Well, four, five, six, twelve. And then there's that one that's kind of like the outlier. So, maybe remove, I could remove that one at the top, and then that. This could all be the USAF ones. And then we'll have the outcast. And then we can have something here. And then a load of other random ones occupying this corner. And then I think it'll be gunner, sergeant, or captain, sergeant, lieutenant, or whatever way it works. And then the three minute man one. And then is there another we style that I'm missing? Um, let me see. There's all the Brotherhood ones, right? I have to remember them. I actually thought of putting the Brotherhood ones there for a bit. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of moving parts to this. Okay, T60. Helmet, left arm, left leg. Right leg, right arm. And a torso. Or T51, that's what I'm building. Alright, move on to the T-51. Oh, I don't have to go that far down, I just need to go to here. Outcasts, like, were always so funny to me in Fallout 3. Um, I was, I, see, to be honest, I just wanted to hear that there was even a remaster coming out. Because I'm going to do these, I, I'm probably, I would say by the time I finish Fallout 3, which will be sometime next year... Um, because obviously after New Vegas, uh, which will take up most of November, uh, December will probably be Fallout London, I would imagine. If I was a batting man on myself, uh, it'll probably be Fallout London. And then after that, it'll probably be like Skyrim, Fallout 3. Uh, again, we'll probably be hearing news more on Elder Scrolls 6. How we haven't, I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand the massive gap. Like, I would like someone to tell me, is Fallout 76 making that much money? Like, that much from all the microtransactions that it literally justifies development grinding to what appears to be a halt? Now, I know that's a, you know... I, I'm not part of Bethesda and I don't know the inner workings, but, you know... Like, if you see the distance and development time between some of these games, you... you it's kind of hot. It's mind... Mind-blowing. Put it that way. It's mind-blowing. To know that we're nowhere near... Anything else. By the by the looks of it. Even the TV show... Appears to be taken... You know, it'll be a good while out. Let's see. Outcoos. Outcasts are so killed. Okay, we'll probably we'll move you in the position to to be the the first one. I believe it deserves to be part of the the crew here. 
And because all I need for you is frames, well, you're still going to take a lot of, of my time up moving back and forth just to get frames. But that's okay. There's even a few frames up there, isn't there? I could maybe steal a few of them. Where to next? Rest and you distracted me from my jumping. Oh, no, just a frame. There's a few frames up here. Yeah, I'm probably, probably removing the top layer here. I don't possibly see the need. Well, that being said, I might need it. I suppose I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just taking these frames right now out of like all, you know, out of laziness. I don't know, I've been doing this all in the dead of night, so it's probably time we mosey on to grab some other stuff. We'll probably go to the Maher Fish Pack and Plump. Means I can kill some things. T60. Wait, did I not just do a T60? No, I didn't. Adam Cats. Left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. Torso. Please don't be regarded as stealing. Please. What are you building? Oh, I need to throw the the Adam Cats ones. I need to actually do too. Uh, Brotherhood at cast. What? How have I run out of aluminium? You're kidding me. What does like a, a mangled one look like? It's like all different things. It's actually not bad power armor. Right. I think this is the place where all the trays I can look. So yeah, we're actually going back to looting. Who would have ever thought in the end game that we would be looting stuff? Ah well. I mean, I could just wait 48 hours, go back to Arturo and wash, rinse and repeat. I have the caps. But I'm sure everyone like me does like it when I do something else in between. Oh, a legendary one. It doesn't even have the same feel anymore. It's like, ah, oh, there's a legendary. All right. You are here to surrender all the aluminium is to me. Present? Is that what I think it is? Economy wonder me? Yep. I hate oh. to say it, but it's too detected. Whoop. Your termination is inevitable. Please, please tell me there's trays here. I need trays. <laughs> That's it. But I have thoroughly enjoyed our journey together. Can you believe that we've spent nearly in the excess of 200 hours together? And I know, I know for a fact some of you have followed this every episode. So uh, thank you so much for that. I can't, uh, can't say how much I appreciate it. Obviously, you have enabled me to be able to do this basically for a living. And that is absolutely crazy. Well, what's even crazier is the fact that I can't seem to find. Ooh, Wonder Glue. Love it. Terminating any hostile life Where are the trays? And why are the trays not here? I'm at the end. Trace? 
Am I blind? Uh, I'm, I'm at the right place. That is the fish packing plan. Like I'm not I'm not making this up. Sweet. I'm trying to remember. Where did you go? Haha! -ha! They called me crazy. Also, I think these have three aluminium each, so every two I pick up is basically. Oh. I'll say every two I pick up. Um, oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, perfect. Please come out. Okay, well, we'll seize every opportunity to get a wee bit of XP. Nice. Yeah, XP isn't big in the grand scheme, but, you know, it's something. Okay, so all the trays... that That's a lot of trays. Should keep production for me going. Junk. Oh, it's only one each? I thought it was three each. Boo. Not what I wanted. I wanted three each. Not even any more trays. Ah, well. Out of here we go. Hostile by order of the Institute. You're lacking destroyed. Oh my god. Hell yeah. That's enough aluminium to keep me going, at least. And Arturo will respawn, and I do need to get loads of frames. So Arturo is actually perfect. Perfectly placed for this one. Movement detected. Curious. Engaging hostile life form. And then, what I actually do, to sort of wind down, <laughs> is I play some New Vegas. And what's class about New Vegas is it's more compact and easy and I'm I'm on episode like 35 and that's basically covered 90% of the Mojave hmm see the problem is whilst the Brotherhood patrols are all good in that it's like I've discovered that they're ooh hi Lon on your way soldier you've done a heck of a job Sentinel Ad Victoria hmm I have a 90% chance to steal, but it's still considered... Oh. Are my supply lines all toast? Yeah. They are. I haven't got any connected. It looks like I can't even connect them anymore. Is that true? Oh, that would be so sad if true. Anyway. Uh, back to starlight. No. Good neighbor. Who else sells aluminium? Never before. But from what I hear, we better watch our stuff. Okay, Rufus in Hotel Am Rexford. Am I the only person who thinks it's kind of funny the Institute is destroyed by a giant robot? <laughs> I mean, the guards are the neighborhood watch around good neighbor is quite funny. Like, all right, where is he? Thanks again for pulling that job. Where's Rufus? Hey, Rufus. Good to see you again. I'll take a look. Let me show you what I got. Sure. Okay, what you got, Rufus? What you got? Yeah, see, you could have bought two of them at a piece, but as I said, I needed a thousand of them. So, you know, it would have took 500 visits to Rufus alone. I'd rather get on with other things, but I don't mind the collecting of stuff here. That's, that's something I'm always into. Yep, you take all that off my hand, Rufus. I have no need for it. It's nothing much, but I hope it'll help the cause. Is this a better time for that talk? Uh, what? I understood, and I appreciated your trust in opening up to me like that. Oh, good. I guess I was more coherent than I thought. It's just, I was ready to give up. I didn't care if I lived or died anymore. At least not for myself. And it was because of you 
and who you are that turned things around for me. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. It means a lot. Our friendship means a lot to me too, Preston. I hope you know that. I do. I wouldn't have said all that to just anybody, you know. I guess we should get back to it, huh? <laughs> Hey, nice work taking care of McDonough over in Diamond City. Could be they start living doom Clear. Again. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Uh-huh. Let's see what you've got. Purchase of a... What does she sell? Does she sell adhesive? I don't think so, but... Hmm. Take the oil. I know we were kind of running out of that for whatever it's used for. Hold on, I can sell a lot of this. I, I don't need a lot. Don't need a dick doll, because you can't get addicted to anything. You can have all these. Um, I'll keep that. You can have the Curie health packs. You can have the day tripper. Yeah, it doesn't give me anything I need. Dirty wastelander. Nope. Let's see, loud snacks. You can take this. Don't need that. Just kind of clearing the inventory at this point. You can have all my jap, all my medics. Um, I'll keep the mentats. I'll keep the pies. Uh, nah, I don't really care for the psycho already. Deal way too much damage. Queen Marlark meat. You can have. You can have my right away. Um, you can have my robot repair kits. And you're not having my two hundred eighty-six potatoes. They are not for sale. Yeah, it works for me. Oh. We trick didn't work that time. Anyway, another frame has been gotten. So, we can be happy about that. Okay. Again, I would go to Tegan, but that is... That is something that just... It just doesn't make any sense to me, and I, I and I would I would really appeal to like any sort of future game. If there is a location, there should be a quality of life option. If I click the woodwind, I should have the option when I fast travel to go to the command deck, or Tegan, or my quarters for the paladin, because the loading screens are that long that. It just annoys me that that was never thought of. It's like, ah, oh, well, you know, if the loading screens are an issue, at least make me sit through just less of them. You know? Like, to, to me, that seems like such a... You can call me crazy. I feel that's a good decision. I feel that just solves so many issues whatsoever. But I'm talking like a broken record because I've already said that a few times. That's all I want. That's one of the things that just... ah. Oh, if you added that to the game, that would just make me so happy. And I, that applies to Skyrim and everything, like, even though Skyrim has pretty good loading times. So, I'm looking forward to that. New Vegas has the best loading times. Like, I can't describe to you just how fast New Vegas' loading times are. They're so fast I never pause. Ever, ever pause. You know, so when you're watching the New Vegas one, you see the loading screens, but it would be, it would, it's faster to let it load than it is for me to click the button to pause the screen. That's how fast it is. Okay, there's a full T60 of Brotherhood outcasts. Complete, just need to do the XO1, and I need to connect them up. This actually ran out of power. I was wondering how many it would do. Well, obviously it would do a hundred, but we haven't got it connected to anything else, so uh, that's that's been noted. I'll connect them in somehow, uh, so they'll look a wee bit nicer. Ooh. 
Left arm, right leg, torso, helmet. Left arm, left leg, right leg, right arm. What am I carrying too much of? Two left arms and two right legs. Probably better unload some of that stuff. They're all repaired, so I can just blitz through. Aluminium's flying down, though. Good thing that Arturo exists. <laughs> Me saying I'm going to go farm it all, and yeah. then I, I farm the trays, and I'm like, ah, I was, like, worth one visit to Arturo, and I could just sit and wait outside. <laughs> So I have five, six, seven, eight of eight frames left. Strong dislikes power armor so much. I wouldn't be surprised that by the end of this, Strong just leaves me. He's just like, no, I don't like power armor. So I think uh, I think our next episode will focus more on the USSAF. Um, I did say I would walk all the frames up on camera, and I'm still, I'm still pretty adamant I'm gonna do that. You know, I try and I will try and sprinkle in the wee odd thing here and there. But what I might do is off camera, I'll wait the 48 hours, get a frame, bring it, and what I'll do is I'll just kind of park the frames here. So we can spend more time building, you know, and just admiring the the progress and all of this, you know, because it's it is pretty cool. Uh, my plan for this bit is I want to extend it in the same way this is, but it's going to then turn into like this. So it's going to be just weapon racks of all the unique weapons. And then I'll turn it out at the corner here probably and have these, but I'll have to add some external lighting. Or I'm actually thinking maybe the unique par apparel could over go over there. You know, like again, continue it as is here across the way and have it like a big sort of arena thing i think that might be cool i need to add more build space though part of me did want to just spawn it in and make it the maximum amount but again i don't know i'm kind of mixed feelings with uh with i i try to use commands sparingly so just for things that can't cannot be done but if it can be done it's like eh, why not anyway talking as if the episode's over i've still got uh now I've got time to work on uh, these. Okay. I'll just make a start on this one. hear problems with the dogs though so I might have to kind of just scoot out just to see what's going on out there. Let's go. Might make an alternative staircase over here though so I can kind of march them up here instead of marching them the whole way around. Because, yeah, being over encumbered at the moment ain't great. So, I'll put the arc jet one up here. I'll do here. Sick. Love it. Okay, let's go get another uh, another one. We'll go to Rowdy. She'll probably have respawned by this point. Ah, Rowdy. 
It's just been constant nighttime for this episode. We could use a few more suits around here. Which is yeah. ironic. You for... want to spiff up your power armor? You you've come... The Adam Cat? Let's see what you've got. Okay. As always, I will take it all and I will take this. And I don't have anything left to give you. You ain't getting all potatoes. Very defensive over potatoes, actually. Uh, no, I will instead give you a 50 caliber. There we go. Hey! That worked. Again. I haven't stolen Zeke's suit. I think his suit's still sitting there. But it's regarded as stealing and the way all the companions react and drown out the audio. Kind of way it up. 80% happiness. Hey, it's funny that Starlight was always like 10%. No one wanted to live there. They were annoyed. I don't know where the beds are. I think I put the beds in, you know, the projector screen? I think the beds are in there. Ah, so it's just dawned on me when the, you are watching this, it will in fact be Halloween. So, happy Halloween, everyone. I have, of course, decorated our place um, with uh, preempting that. <laughs> and we've got the spooky Codsworth uh, trapped in the, the, the center of this. I'm actually going to save it because that's, that's, quite, that's quite funny looking. Ah, Codsworth getting stuck. And we'll walk this frame up. Park it. Yeah, look look at that angle. Ah, uh, oh, terrible. Don't know what's more terrible, the way the concrete was placed or the way I placed the uh, the power armor displays. Both of them are, are wild. Uh, while I am here, though, let's see crap. I'm going to run out of space soon. Weed, 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 stairs. Open up here. Yeah. And that means we can walk it up to here. Yeah, it kind of solves part of a problem. Look, it's crude, but it'll do. It's kind of like scaffolding. Well, it is scaffolding. It's exactly what it is. Um, I don't know if the weapon rack would sit better over here. I mean, I suppose what I could do is I could start like looking into the way the prefab would sit. Uh, we'll continue on with uh, concrete. Normal concrete. See, I can't really afford it. Hmm. Actually, do you know what? I could get it to sit there. Yes. Because what's strange is it will clip in. But is it in line? No, it needs to be further back. Can it go further back? It probably could go further back. Now I can fully appreciate how crazy building projects in Fallout 4 can get. Yeah, there's like a frame rate drop over here. I don't know why. It just drops down to like 
60 frames. Kind of curious. Uh, we'll just store you. You don't need too many of them. Put that useless dresser there. clipping but if we get this that's almost good enough for me okay they are level enough that I'm pretty content oh right, I could have it like this and then that should clip in you'll clip in right oh, come on clip Clip. Why do they sometimes clip in and sometimes choose not to? Ooh. There it is. That's what we're looking for. Okay, we just need to uh, back you up just a little. Oh, no. Yep. To be fair, this doesn't have to be perfect at this point. So... Even if it is a wee bit over, which it is, it's not a massive deal. Uh, I just need to rotate you. There we go. How's that now? That's better. I think. It's. It could be further back. Oh, you could go further back if we close this door. Now, my only hope is it clips through this, which it mightn't. But it's full of surprises, so you never know. it in terms of being in line with this. That's, that's actually perfect. But that's kind of how I would want it. So it's kind of perfect. You're not going to do this, are you? Hmm. You'll partially clip three, so... I wish I had an explanation for how this wacky and wonderful clipping of things works. Like this, like this right now. What's what's that all about? Why won't you clip now?
Come on. You want to. Can't believe we actually we have managed to clip it through. Okay. Persevered every bit of this. Maybe we've met our match. Maybe these need to be moved out of the way. I agree with that sentiment. Maybe that was part of the problem. So yeah, this section, I'm kind of getting where I can get the sunlight. So this is like the nice corner for sunlight. Let's go get some bed. Is that a cup? Lying around. Give me that. And we'll move you as well. Uh, yep. I don't know why it doesn't work. My workshop will not work over here for whatever reason. Wait a minute. I don't know what we can do. This has worked before for me. Uh. Uh, it just doesn't want to. I don't, I don't want to just surrender this, but what about the dog mat thing? How do I put it on a dog mat? Where do you find the dog mats? Is it furniture? It's under rugs, isn't it? Decorations. A mat. Ah, okay. I'll have to investigate this a wee bit more. Anyways, in the meantime, I'll grab a load of frames to just kind of pop around here and kind of work out in my head what I want. So, this has worked out quite well for the power armor. Um, I won't start on this just yet. Though I think this will probably be primarily weapons. 
Um, but we'll see as we as we go on. In fact, you know what? It will be weapons. Because if I do run out of space for power armor, I either have the top row if I'm really desperate, or I could just expand it this way a wee bit. Yeah, world's me oyster and where I want to call the cutoff point. But uh, the six gunner, or the three gunners and the three minute men can go here. That's no problem. And then that fits in the horse armor and that one. And then after that, I think a lot of it's just Brotherhood of Steel variants. There is the Raider armor and the Hellfire, so maybe the top row might be perfect for putting them in. Uh, but we'll find out and I'll have a wee look at this. So thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.